Hey YouTube, welcome back to another exciting adventure of Old Blue and Cinco Dave. Uh, today we're going to be correcting an issue um, that my son pointed out to me when I first bought the truck and ignored. Um, that how bad the throttle valve cable adjustment is. And I haven't driven the truck much due to other issues, but um, it is able to be driven. And I want to use it for some stuff around the house and around town, hauling some stuff, but... I don't want to drive it with this throttle cable, a uh, throttle valve cable being completely out of whack. And uh, just wait <laughs> when you find out just how bad it can be. Um, and we'll try to correct it. Surprisingly, our local uh, auto parts store um, had this part in stock. So I didn't have to order it from Summit or Amazon or whoever. Um, so I just went and picked it up. And we're going to try to install it. And see where that goes. I'm not going to film a lot of the actual installation because everybody can turn bolts, you know. But uh, I'll stop and cue you in on a few key moments of the installation and let you know how it's going. And uh, maybe we can help you because uh, there are not a lot of helpful videos out there on TV cables. Um, it's it's pretty amazing. I'm surprised there's not a better solution from Edelbrock or uh, Holly, whoever, but we just happen to have an Edelbrock 1406 is uh, what we have on here. And the whole reason that we're having to do this exercise is because the previous owner uh, took the Quadrajet off and put an Edelbrock on. Um, I don't know why, but I mean, it's a good carburetor. It's running great, um, but they just ignored the geometry issues and how uh, critical getting that TV cable uh, tension correct is to the life of your 700R4. So uh, we're going to get to it, and uh, first stop is we're going to show you what is in place right now. You're going to like this. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the current installation of our uh, throttle valve cable. It's using the stock GM Quadrajet architecture here with the stock throttle valve cable, and, uh, and then it comes to right here, uh, which in my investigation here is just a piece of vacuum hose with a screw through the hole and uh, the the cable is just held on by the, the back of the screw. So right here is the current solution. Uh, obviously the cable is a little too long, it got those spacers on the edge there, but just a regular screw uh, was holding this thing on. So. Uh, this was put on by the previous owner, not you, Kevin, the previous, previous owner. Um, but this is what happens when you buy a vehicle sight unseen. But I wanted a challenge, and it looks like I got one, so we're going to move forward with this. Uh, one thing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for the poor lighting. Uh, both my key grip and best boy have the day off, so I'm kind of running the lighting by myself. Uh, but they're not getting paid, so okay. We've got the stock throttle bracket out. Uh, it was wrapped around this vacuum line that goes to the brake, so we had to disconnect the brake booster, and uh, it was bolted to a couple bolts on the intake manifold, so nothing uh, none of us can handle, so uh, with this guy out, we'll commence with installation of the new gear. So this new bracket is loaded with adjustments. The main one I'm worried about is the TV adjustment which is here and it's got all kind of different locations that you can bolt this thing together with and uh, slide it back and forth but my cable seems to be very long compared to the previous bracket so I'm going to set this thing up all the way to the back and kind of mock it up and see where we get with that and I'm not really going to torque everything down I've read some complaints that it's a little difficult to get this to stay in place and kind of tedious to pull with these little teeny tiny screws and uh, nuts on the back. So I'm going to kind of mock it up a little before I uh, lock everything down. We'll see where it goes. But overall, I think this is, <laughs> well, this is a thousand percent better than uh, the solution we had on before. I'm not saying this is the best thing on the market, but honestly, it's kind of difficult to, to nail something down. Uh, I did a lot of searching and uh, 
this one was here in town, so I'm gonna go for it. It's worth the 20 bucks, uh, you know, with tax and all to, to give it a shot. Here's the bracket installed, pretty simple. Catch this one bolt in the back corner of the carburetor, and then there's a set screw right there that you can use to tighten the whole thing up. I haven't set that yet. I've just stuck it on here. I want to see how the TV cable uh, reaches now before I go any further. Um, but it looks pretty good. Not the heavy dutiest looking uh, piece of equipment on here, but uh, you know, if it works, uh, it ain't stupid. I did have to make one small modification to the stock cable. Uh, if you'll notice the little divot there in the bracket is facing down, which is where it is on the stock location of the cable. So if you do it that way, it will not fit. Uh, physically will not fit with the adjuster uh, at all. Not only can you not ever adjust it again with it located in there unless you remove the cable, it physically will not fit. So I just got the old pocket knife out and whittled that little tab off. So uh, I'm gonna rotate the cable 180 degrees. It should not cause any problem. I don't, don't think so. Um, but I've test fit it now and it's a little bit snug, but it'll It'll be all right. It does snap into place. Uh, it's just upside down. So I think I've got the approximate distance set. And uh, we're going to give it a try here in a minute. One thing I haven't mentioned yet uh, on this video is I did order this guy. And I actually did this in an attempt to make the stock stuff work. But this is a, a, a throttle valve cable corrector. It actually has an Edelbrock part number, and I'll see if I can find it and uh, put it in the description. But it goes on there like so. Let's see if I get a better angle. It bolts onto that, and then your TV cable uh, goes on there. So I think with this distance that it moves that, it should be pretty close to being right. But we'll find out here in a minute. Surprise! Here's some more previous owner shenanigans. Not you, Kevin. Looks like cotter pins were pressed onto the TV cable in order to shorten it up. So I'm gonna take a break, get some more tea, and come back and pry all these little guys off of here. Uh, and then I'll proceed and install this correctly, or at least semi-correctly. Okay, well, not super bad, not super good. I'm not crazy about that angle, that geometry right there. I did get some adjustment in the cable. Uh, going full throttle, it did click out a couple of clicks. So I feel like the proper tension is on the throttle valve. It's just a little, the geometry is a little wrong. Now I might be able to flip this guy right here around to the back side of the throttle lever. And that'll get it lined up horizontally a little better. But I'm not crazy about this little slope we've got going on here. So we're going to try it out and see what it does. It's better than what was on it. Uh, now, if I had my, you know, $6,000 monster transmission in there, yeah, I'd be worried about it. But I have no idea what kind of abuse this one has had. So, uh, you know, if it blows up, I'll rebuild it or find another one to put in there. I'd rather not blow it up. That's why I'm doing this. But uh, throttle position looks pretty good. Not beautiful, but it works. Uh, you know, so I'm about to I splurge for a new throttle return spring assembly. I'm about to put that on, made by the same manufacturer. So we'll see how that looks. But we'll do that, and uh, we'll check back in. All right, here's a finished product. Got the snazzy Spectre spring bracket on there and I'm not crazy about that angle but it seems to work I'm gonna test drive it and see how it goes but uh, affordability I give it five stars uh, ease of operation maybe three stars it is kind of a pain to mess with those screws um, reliability remains to be seen we'll see how it goes it seems a little bit flimsy is not the right word for it but Maybe less than stout, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching.
quick update after a test drive. Uh, pretty good, pretty good results. I did flip the uh, TV cable correction little thing I ordered from Metal Brock. Flip that around to the other side, and that really straightened the geometry out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. It looks like it's it's hitting the choke there, but it's not. It's really close, but it's okay. So I haven't had it out on the highway yet. Um, so we're going to see. It seems to shift in the fourth a little bit late, but I can't really tell. But we'll have more updates in the future. But for now, I'm calling this a win. But a time will tell. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.